So in this video, we're gonna be doing a custom grub install. We're gonna be making a theme in our actual boot menu so it's gonna look sexy and sleek and just completely awesome. Okay, let's start by installing our grub customizer. Gonna do a sudo aptitude install grub customizer. And it's already installed for me, but for you, it obviously install. From here, we can exit out and then launch our Grub Customizer and we're gonna go over the options. Okay, the main screen here is the actual Linux kernels that you'll be having installed on your machine. As you see, I have quite a few kernels just because I get super paranoid. I like an LTS kernel, I like the actual stock kernel that's supposed to go with this distribution, and then I have my custom kernels which I like to keep a couple of options on. Uh, with that, uh, you can change these menu script settings and everything. However, I'm not going to. Uh, I could actually probably remove this and probably this one too. And that should be good. So with that done, I can go over and see general settings. General settings, see a bunch of cool things here. The main thing I like to say is the kernel parameters. If you've seen like my PCI pass through video, there's my actual settings I actually installed right here on the kernel. So you could actually modify this and rebuild Grub and add extra settings. I highly recommend adding these IOMMU settings if you're doing any type of virtualization directly on the machine. Um, however, you know, you don't have to do it for this video. I just wanted to mention that you could actually add those settings here. And then we have our appearance settings. Now I'm going to redo all this and show you what you get out of the box. Out of the box up here, you'll have this grayed out. It'll say 640 by 480. I like to go ahead and make a custom resolution of 1920 by 1080. That way the themes show up properly and most themes are actually made at this resolution. So on my ultra wide, it might stretch the screen a little bit, but I'm okay with that. As far as the themes, you won't have any themes loaded up over here. It'll just have custom settings with nothing here. We'll actually delete this theme and re-add it. So where do I get these themes from is the main question. And I'm glad you asked. We're going to go ahead and go to Gnome Look and get that. So Gnome Look is right here, or Gnome Look. Go over to Grub Themes on your left-hand corner. The standby theme is my absolute favorite, and it's also the easiest to install with Grub Customizer. It's literally just download the tar file, and then just come over into Grub Customizer, hit the plus sign, navigate to it. For some odd reason, it doesn't show up there. We'll do all, hit OK, and open. This right here just goes ahead, puts it all in here. We click Save. It rebuilds our Grub and everything in the background, and we're good to go. So. Pretty sweet. Uh, you'll see the updating configuration. There's a little lag time, just like any update grub command. But just know that this this did work. It went through, and it's very fast. Uh, the reason for the speed or slowdown in many grub builds is because it does an OS probe. As you saw right here, like these Windows 10, where it multiplied all my Windows 10 installs, uh, those actually didn't need to be multiplied is just os probe went through and grabbed them all where we're not doing any probing so it's really quick to build on a save settings usually about 15 seconds so hit save wait about 15 seconds then you can close out now with this done we'll have our nice cool background and our load screen however we're not done i wanted to show you a couple things where people get lost in the weeds on these themes now, one of the most popular themes is the Breeze Grub 2 theme, and this one is a cool theme. However, it can't be installed by default with uh, Grub Customizer. So one thing to note here is the installation of the Breeze theme, you cannot just import this into Grub Customizer. We'll get an actual error message. So let's go ahead and try and do it anyways, just to see what we get. You'll see, hey, it does not include a theme.txt file. It actually does, it's just not importing this particular package correctly, which is fine. Um, we'll go ahead and hit quit on this. And I'm gonna go ahead and relaunch into Grub Customizer just to make sure we didn't install something we shouldn't have installed. And yeah, there you go. All right, cool. So the Grub theme there, what we would do is just read the installation notes. And they say, hey, copy the Breeze folder to the themes directory and then just run the installation script as root. 
very basic and this would actually install it instead of doing the grub customizer route just know that you will run into themes that don't load correctly pay attention to those warning prompts because you don't want to mess up your grub if i were to hit save and rebuild the grub it would have been bad news so that was installing themes in Grub. Very simplistic. I just thought I'd demystify some of these things because some people try to use Grub Customizer for everything and some people try to do install scripts or manually installing it and run into problems. I personally like the ones with the actual install scripts and the ones I can install using the Grub Customizer. It's just a lot less bad stuff can happen when using these types of programs than manually editing grub yourself but that was theming and i hope you guys enjoyed it if you like this video consider visiting me on patreon and i'll see you in the next one